What's up guys, my name is Miles. And my name is Fez. And this is The Commodity. And today we're reacting to top 10 best places to live in New Zealand, new heaven on earth. So this is the first time we're doing a New Zealand video. It's, we're just wanting to see, check out other places in the world. Um, so if you are from New Zealand or from any of the adjacent places that you, that are, and you visited New Zealand and you got other video suggestions for us to check out, please go ahead and let us know down in the comments section, or you can find our discord link down in the description. And there's actually a location for suggested videos. Join. We got, I don't know how many we have. We have like 9,000, 9,000, 900 or a thousand people I don't on know. our discord now. I haven't even checked the numbers lately. Yeah. Either our discord I. members. Um, We're busy. but if you guys like this video, go ahead and click the like button. If you'd like to go ahead and subscribe to our channel, we'd truly appreciate it. Go ahead and click the bell notification icon. That way you guys know when we do post our next video. And if you'd like to support the channel even more, you can click the join button below. Let's hop into it. Let's check it out. Chicky, chicky, check it out. I'm excited. I, I don't know much about New Zealand at all. I've actually got a person that I know. We didn't like each other and we probably still wouldn't, uh, but I was friends with his wife mm -hmm. at, back then. It was before they started dating. Um, and they moved to New Zealand for like five or six, seven years, something like that. And they're back now, but that's the only like... And I do watch uh, a couple of YouTube reaction channels uh, that are from New Zealand. So that's my like knowledge base. Yeah. So New Zealand is one of the world's best places to live in and the best oh, place it? to raise your family. It has a very pleasant climate, great beaches, a wide variety of outdoor activities, cultural attractions, That's beautiful. healthcare, mm -hmm. a good educational system, economic freedom. If you're thinking of oh, moving wow. to New yeah. Zealand and you're really not sure where you want to settle, here are the 10 best places to live in New Zealand. This is something I could fall asleep to. Yeah. I'm already so Ten. at ease. Waikato. Waikato. Located in the central North Island, the region of Waikato is a very fertile one in agricultural terms and also a fertile ground for recent It's a drone and it's scaring all the cows. <laughs> affordable housing options. I was like, why are they running? Is there like a truck? But then I realized Waikato's it's a drone and it's just freaking them out. Hamilton continues to be far more affordable Oh, that looks like a giant golf course. Yeah. No wonder they're talking about how fertile it is. That's insane. Yeah. That's beautiful. If I feel like they're like you're all stupid, of the, that is a golf course, right? <laughs> I feel like all of New Zealand, at least the stuff I've ever seen, pictures or anything like that, it's like a one giant like national park. Mm -hmm. Like it's all like it seems like you shouldn't be allowed to live on it just because of how like perfect it is like yeah. look at this this is somebody's house and it looks like it's legitimately oh i mean a and it, painting and it goes on yeah it's insane which you can see their yard the grass doesn't look the same as right there but it still looks insane it's like your neighbor's yard that never mows their grass yeah like you towns, beg them such as hamilton continues to be far more affordable than its main city of auckland Auckland. There are increasing employment prospects across the Sorry region. for pausing this, but isn't New Zealand where the... Oh, man, what was that movie called? Where the guy that rode Indians set the land speed record on a motorcycle under a certain amount of cc's. He had literally tried his entire life. There's a movie about it, and it's an absolutely wonderful movie. Um, and it he goes to uh, over in western i believe over in la or la california where they do the the salt flats and they do the top speed records and all that kind of stuff i believe the guys from new zealand that broke that record it's a great movie we need to look into that as well as decent it. educational really facilities making it a good area to she's consider pretty. for families interested <laughs> she's probably not in relocating <laughs> just, abroad. She's got some docks. Your Martins. kids can enjoy the Hamilton Zoo, Hamilton Gardens, and the Waikato Museum, or try something more active, like walking tracks, water world, or kayaking. I'd like to go waterboarding like that. Yeah, me too. I really want one for you Nine. in our lake. Nelson. 
Nelson is a city on the eastern shores of Tasman gorgeous. Bay. That's insane. It's known for local arts and crafts stores and <laughs> art galleries. Living in Nelson puts families That's within cool. easy reach of just about everything they could ever want. Kids do well at Nelson schools with high levels of national standard achievement and university entrance qualification levels. The climate in New Zealand is the sunniest, and there's plenty to see with all that sunshine, parks and reserves. It's the beaches, sunniest. And That's a you're very vague statement. It's the it's Wellington. just the sunniest. I want to know what the temperature levels are. Extremely yeah. low in Nelson. This is a safe and secure environment where kids can enjoy an enviable outdoor lifestyle. Eight. Selwyn. Selwyn. This looks like the Midwest. This is yeah. the one picture I've seen that looks like a normal place anywhere else, at least in the U.S. Yeah. A Texas, Midwest, Oklahoma. This could easily fit that bill. How, okay, so my one question is, how much does it, like, in a place like this, how much does it cost versus the last location or probably, you know, whatever number one's going to be? I don't know if these are, like, number one being the best and 10 being the worst. I, that's subjective. Yeah. That's pure opinion. So let us know down in the comments. I'm curious about what the cost of living is like in New Zealand. I would assume there's a lot of import that's required considering mm -hmm. the size, but y'all have got livestock and everything, so that's not probably not much of an issue actually. The Selwyn district is a predominantly rural area in central Canterbury on That's the beautiful. east coast of New Zealand's South Island. Your kids can get an excellent education in Selwyn while you can buy a relatively affordable house that That's leaves so you cool. close enough to Christchurch to enjoy most of its big city benefits. Selwyn has high quality amenities for families like swimming pools, reserves, I'd hurt skate myself. parks, and many playgrounds. I'd like all of ankles. Canterbury, yeah. educational achievement standards are high, and employment levels are high. These New Zealand ladies are beautiful. Yeah, are these New Zealand <laughs> women? Because I'm coming Queenstown Lake. to New Zealand. Queenstown, Queenstown <laughs> is a desirable place to raise a family. Children raised around Queenstown that is can a enjoy gorgeous enviable year-round mm -hmm. access to world-class attractions and sporting venues, especially nope. yep. the ski fields. Somebody and just died biking. doing this. I'm I would not do into that. this. He touched the water. To live in the whole of the I'm country, too heavy. I'd fall into the water. There is perhaps nowhere else. <laughs> I come up with a tuna in my mouth. The stark beauty, extreme outdoor lifestyle, and colorful Kiwi culture like Queenstown. Was that it's one of those rocks? rare places rocks. in the world that never ceases to take your breath away that on a, a daily beautiful, basis. Beautiful, beautiful no. image. That is insane. I mean, I think it's a little bit touched up. Don't get me wrong, but it's still beautiful. Yeah. Like, if I was looking at this, walking towards the water, I feel like I would be able to walk on the water. He's either God complex. No, it just said, it seems like that kind of view. <laughs> Got a weird <laughs> complex going on over here. No matter how long I walk on water. There. I'm telling you, it's Six. all up. Look at that. Christ Church. Christ Church. Christ Church is the second largest city in New Zealand. And so it is a viable option That's to live interesting in name and of work a city. abroad mm -hmm. rather than those just looking for a retirement paradise. The climate is excellent. The educational and social facilities are fabulous. I wish you'd say what the temperature is. And were. the majority of residents yeah. experience a perfect blend of working and relaxing. It's a if local... you need city life <laughs> at a bargain price, Christchurch is for you with its lower rent. And... Okay, I, I do have to ask the, the obvious question. So is everybody, like, obviously not everybody goes to church there, but is it just like, is New Zealand like a very religious country? I, Kind of like Indonesia and Malaysia seems to be, and the Philippines are all really religion in their religious in their own way. Because mm -hmm. I've never heard of a town called Christchurch. Right. Anything to do with religion, I don't think is typically in the name of any. I think it's dope. Well, I take that back. 
literally San Diego, yeah. San Francisco, <laughs> San Antonio. Those are all San stands for Saint. So it's kind of obvious. It's we do have name. It's just not as like in your. Well, yeah. I mean, so I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm. I'll shut up now. <laughs> and overall cost of living compared to Wellington and Auckland. Christ Church is also famous for its culture and history as well. It's really modern Making looking. it an excellent place to live for families and a really lovely place to consider living in that New is Zealand. Insane. Five. Wow. Rotorua. I want to see Rotorua. Rotorua. A town set on its namesake lake on New Zealand's North Island. She's getting it. it they're doing the. She's I think they're it. doing the haka dance or the haka, uh, not dance, but. And that is a dope tattoo. That is insane. And but I think they're doing the haka. Is renowned for its geothermal activity and Maori culture. The first thing you'll notice about the Rotorua area. That's cool. Have you ever seen the haka? Uh uh. It, I, I, if I'm not wrong, which y'all can correct me, I believe it's a, uh, a New Zealand, one of their uh, um, cultural dances. It, well, it's a, it's a war dance mm -hmm. or a, uh, I think it's supposed to like make the other group like terrified of them to like give up. And I know like I've heard of the all blacks. I've never watched a game or anything like that, that they do it before all their games. So it's, it's really cool. Yeah. Yeah, is the smell. Yes, it's a little whiffy. We might need and to do a watch that variety, for you. I've but seen you'll it. Soon get used it makes to me that. tear up every time. Not only it's are beautiful. there a host of things to keep you busy, but cool. Rotorua is also one of the cheapest cities to live in New Zealand. When you think about how this great spot is only a three-hour drive dollars. from Auckland, <laughs> just down the road from Taupo, and a few hours from skiing the grass at Mount is so beautiful. Ruapehu, yeah. you're really going to want for nothing. Four. Auckland. Auckland. Auckland is a major city in the north of New Zealand's North Island. That's really cool. It's mm -hmm. a city unlike any other. With incredible natural I'm wonders what the on the doorstep are of a in these cities. Yeah. city, Auckland is the perfect destination. So my concern is, you see all these places, and then in the view, there's the mountains with the snow on top. Right. But I'd want to swim. Is it warm enough to swim? Yeah. Mission Bay Beach has a ice. seaside promenade. Well. But obviously, Auckland it's a higher one of altitude. The best yeah. places I was going to say, I mean, that. Versatile island. And Auckland's charms are That's evident. That's dope. That is really the cool. The fact that it is the biggest city in the country means that there is always something happening. But it's mind-bogglingly expensive if you're looking to buy a house. Hmm. Three. Number three. Dunedin. Dunedin. A relaxing pace That's of life cool. and low crime levels make Dunedin a great place for kids, especially those who love native wildlife. Hmm. Kayak with seals, walk with penguins, beautiful. and see the royal albatross. Mine, mine, mine. The city of Dunedin is great for employment and comment. education. You'll find cheaper housing, a laid-back lifestyle, Some might and not have friendly known. <laughs> local citizens. Hiking and cycling trails crisscross the dramatic landscape of the adjoining Otago Peninsula, that looks home beautiful. to colonies of albatross, it's not what sea I would lions, use, but... and rare yellow eyed penguins. I mean, I'm sure the climate sea lions in this part of the sea <laughs> is not the best. There are still huge variations all across the region. Two, Taranaki. That's a beautiful picture. Yeah. It's the lure Taranaki. of the ocean and mountain that call many people to this west coast. You know what I'm saying? Like, can I swim there? Its landscape and then get cold up is there? dominated by yeah. Mount Taranaki, its namesake volcano, which lies within the rainforested Egmont National Park. The port city of New Plymouth is the area's hub. It hosts green spaces like Puka Kuta Park 
with lakes Puka and Puka. formal gardens that grow rhododendrons and king ferns. The fact that you can snowboard in the morning the and surf in the, in the afternoon during the winter months is one of the chief appeals for the locals. There's also the, the snow fact is so blown that out. the Taranaki <laughs> locals are notoriously lovely and that there are heaps of things to do outdoors. One, Wellington. Wellington. The nation's mm. capital is also one of the country's most. Look at the little beach. Is that a little beach? That's what it looks like. I'm sure it is. It just completely stops right there. The nation's capital is also one of the country's most popular and much loved places to live. A compact city, it encompasses a waterfront promenade. Somewhere, Sandy beaches, like, and that's where Kong parks, lives. Yeah. reserves, and colorful timber houses on its surrounding hills. Wellington but combines big. Didn't uh, what movie was done in New Zealand? Didn't hmm. You know a lot about New Zealand movies. <laughs> I'm pretty well. I went to school for movies, so like location is a big thing. And I want to say it was Lord of the Rings. Was that New Zealand? That may have been New Zealand. Either Lord of the Rings or maybe The Hobbit? I'm not sure. I assume if it, Lord of the Rings was done there, then The Hobbit was definitely done there, or vice versa. But uh, I know there's been several movies that's been done in New Zealand. I'm pretty sure there's a couple of uh, um, uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe movies that were done there as well. Hmm city sophistication with tight-knit community living and superb educational opportunities. Wellington has excellent public transport, some of the best cafes, bars, and restaurants anywhere Get in it, the girl. country, <laughs> and an incredible yeah. nightlife and music culture. If you are moving to live in New Zealand and you're really not sure where you want to settle, Auckland can be a great place to begin. You can rent accommodations easily one? within the city, mm -hmm. and it has that. fantastic transportation That's links. Like a, to you the need a side by side for that. That looks like a lot of fun in a side by side. That's like green chocolate hills. Yeah, <laughs> green bean hills. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it honestly, this kind of leaves me speechless. Like, it's. It's beautiful and it's the best of both worlds. You've got the mountains in the yeah. the far view and then you've got your beach right here. You've got the snow up there. You've got the not snow warmer weather down here. And it's such a small country. Like as and, far as size well, goes. Well even the cities, they're they're smaller. Yeah. Like the first few cities that were shown were like super small. Small yeah. and I like that. Yeah. Like that's that's yeah. cool. Yeah, I absolutely like this is all this in Australia and a couple other places in the world have always been on my bucket list to visit before I kick the bucket. Uh, so I was I, I'm always down to watch something about New Zealand. I think it's a beautiful place. So yeah. if you got anything else you want to add? No. <laughs> With that being said, <laughs> my name's Miles. My name's Fez. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.